Hello, welcome back. Fred in the shed, literally Fred in the shed. Um, just a handheld video today, so please excuse me if I just sort of jiggle the camera around a little bit. Um, when I put up the last video, which was the Superstar 6900 there, the sort of very basic guide to getting on sideband, a few people commented and said, what's that uh, below the radio? Well, that is an LT1, that is an RF pre-amplifier, and what that does is you connect your antenna into the pre-amplifier before you then daisy chain into your radio transceiver. And basically what it does, it gives you an opportunity to either reduce or increase the gain, on this case 25 dB or minus 30 dB. So it's a little bit like the RF gain that you've got on your radio. Now if you've got, you, for this to work properly, you need a very, very quiet band. You need a very, very sort of quiet day with very little local noise or QRM. And then you can, uh, you can boost the very very distant signals it can help you a little bit it's not perfect but it can help you to uh, hear some very very distant stations now another use that is quite quite good is if at the moment like around here i've got a lot of building work going on around my sort of uh, sort of housing estate area and it's causing me all sorts of uh, crackling sort of qrm with power drills going and things like that but what you can do is you can uh, turn the sort of db the gain right down and then increase the volume control on your radio and uh, it can help to reduce it, you're never going to lose that QRM but it can help to reduce it, I'll see if I can demonstrate listen for that, uh, that crackling noise so what I do, if I reduce that down then turn the RF gain down a bit put the high cut on It's not perfect, but it, it does reduce it a bit, and I've got quite chronic bad QRM at the moment. I'll turn it back up. Hear that popping noise. So I can get that QRM sort of at quite a low level, although it's still there in the background. And just compensate with the, uh, the, the volume on the, uh, on the radio. I'll do it once more. You do lose a little bit on your uh, RF meter there, of course. Um, you do sort of lose a bit of the signal gain. So, uh, yeah, it's got its uses. Um, they're, they're not expensive. They're about £20 um, sort of delivered here in the UK, probably about the same in dollars. And yeah, okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd recommend one or not. Really. I mean, you're probably better to sort of invest your money in a sort of a better quality extension speaker, or put twenty pounds to maybe towards a new antenna. Um, but they're okay. They've got the. They say they've got the uses. You do need to connect them to a um, twelve volt power supply. They're not sort of a passive device. They do need uh, a little bit of sort of current. So uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a RF preamplifier. Gives you twenty five dB gain or minus thirty db gain if you're suffering from a little bit of noise okay cheers thank you very much for watching 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 uh please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to fred in the shed and of course i will add little uh, links to come up at the end of the video for other su video suggestions that you might want to go and watch but as for now cheers thanks for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one stay safe